Now, CBS4 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. So let's take a deeper look into what's forecast to happen with Gonzalo, uh, Gonzalo there out in the Atlantic. 730 miles to the east of the Windward Islands, moving to the west, northwest, west basically, and 60 mile an hour winds. It basically is kind of embedded in this moist pouch right now. It was fighting off some dry air today. The system actually weakened a little bit and then it was struggling. It's looking a little bit uh, better tonight in terms of its organization. But it moves along and continues to fight off this dry air, but it does as long as it stays in this moist pouch have an opportunity to strengthen possibly to a minimal hurricane, category one hurricane, as it approaches and reaches the island Friday night into Saturday. But then after that, another surge of dry air comes in and that really kind of wipes it out that by so that by Monday, uh, the National Hurricane Center doesn't even extend the forecast points. Uh, this would probably be the remnant of it here, a tropical wave. And of course, we would still keep our eyes on that as it tracks onto the west for any redevelopment. But there's still a lot of dry air left over from our earlier dust uh, episodes that we had across the Atlantic and the Caribbean. So uh, that's a good thing. Thankful for the dust that's there for the time being. In terms of the storm, this is the way it looks tonight. You can see it kind of sputtering there. It certainly doesn't look like Hannah, which uh, became a tropical storm this evening from tropical depression of rate. There is Hannah. It's got a big circulation, by the way, so uh, it's not surprising to see kind of a better appearance to it on the satellite. But thankfully, it is going to be running out of water in a couple of days. Otherwise, it would just continue on the strengthening trend. All the ingredients look there for further strengthening. So 40 mile an hour winds right now from the Hurricane Hunters forecast to move to the west. Now, when we show the cone, you know, we show the cone and that's where the center is expected to be, the center, but it doesn't talk about the rest of the storm. So this year we're showing not only the cone, which is in that little outline there, but really the, trop the extent of the expected tropical storm force winds because the storm is much bigger than just the cone. There it is through Friday evening, and then there it comes into the tropical storm warning area Saturday arriving on Texas and then being just a big flood event there. As far as we're concerned, our rain chances are going down. Not quite yet, but they're going down. Look at the thunderstorms just now coming on shore. Going to be a stormy hour or so for much of Miami-Dade and Broward. In fact, our wind jam resort camera this evening catching some of the lightning out there. Temperatures not too bad, mainly in the 70s, thanks to the, uh, the rain cooling that we've seen of late. Here's the moisture that finally moves on out, and we finally get some drier air coming in here a little bit tomorrow, and then by next week, much drier air comes in for Monday and Tuesday, and that's when our rain chances really drop. For tonight, though, some passing storms, a few downpours, a low near 80. Tomorrow, we'll see a little bit more sunshine. High temperature will be around 90 degrees, but still some spotty storms. In terms of uh, winds on the water, not really a problem, and taking us through the weekend looking a little less stormy. Back to you.